not you know of course including hawaii so um what's up everyone <laughs> what's up brad motley what's up hello up, guys? hello awesome guys How's How's it it going? Going? cheers cheers Ka-chink. that cheers. first link wasn't working for me cheers, no, cheers. say cheers. motley i'll be yeah. drinking soon just not right now all right hey uh well you shouldn't line. do that now. yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> hex line and alan i i really like this um concept of a stream you know so i, I didn't realize the other people were going to be able to come on so once i heard that i had to go to the store real quick and grab a couple and anyways thanks for the uh, the idea that's cool awesome yeah i think we should have more casual um streams like this where we can just um talk about hex but anything hex related or anything about the creators related as well so me, I'm in Mexico right now. Um, Hex Lion is in Colombia right now. Um, we should also talk about the creators, you know? Where are we right now? What are our plans in the future? I just thought in our uh, German stream, I want to buy a golden yacht in the future. And um, <laughs> Hex Lion Patrick said, man, I don't like a golden yacht. I want to live somewhere else. But I think we should talk about something that is not Hex related as well. And that's why a Hex party stream is perfect for that. Somebody should do a party slash happy hour hangout stream. Somebody yeah. should do that. No, <laughs> That's a great idea. With you. I think I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have the American version over here, which I'm happy to host. But this, I jumped at the opportunity to say thank you for the invite, Alan and Patrick. Uh, this is such a cool thing. And I, I caught the end of the German one. So um, you guys, this this is so cool. Thank you. Awesome. But who should it be? I think Bailey Brand could host something like this really good. Yes, where are you? Awesome where are you Brent? I see it right now. Oh, oh, as far as places, uh, so either Seattle or Bellevue. Right now, I'm here in Bellevue, Washington, at my house. But then the girlfriend lives over in uh, downtown Seattle, like right on the water. So maybe her place. You you need some more hexagons. Bellevue. I know, dude. I, I really don't have enough. You know, I'm thinking I got this, this shirt over here. <laughs> Shit, we're representing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this this one actually came in the mail today, so uh, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, five, 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 and then got the little moon awesome. guy. What <laughs> little things are awesome, man! Great. Ah, uh -uh, yeah, looks cool. I think I could uh, use some more uh, hex merch already. I only have five t-shirts. That's it. I could use some more t-shirts. <sighs> Look at uh, Crypto Styles USA. He's got a lot of good Hex merch. That's where I got this, yeah. Is that where the uh, Tears of Hex Haters is? Yeah, that's where my mom <laughs> came from. That's, that's, yeah, that's the problem. best. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the puppy? Nope. Not me. Not me. Somebody's got it. It's not, not mine. So. Yeah, it, it is probably me. Well, oh, okay. Dogs, dogs are on the streets all the time here in Mexico. Yeah. You, you yeah. know, it, it, it's funny because uh, Ellen is, is wearing his uh, noise canceling uh, earphones. So he's not <laughs> carry, he's around me. Totally no change. Uh, I was going to say, that sounded about I, 50 pounds bigger than mine. So, you know. I, I can't hear what you hear. That's a crazy thing. When you hear, I can't hear. What kind of headphones do you have? I don't know. They're just. I don't know. Okay. They're just. Yeah. Yeah. But they're noise canceling. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> just, just some noise canceling, just like the AirPods uh, from Apple as well. Hey, uh, yeah, I know we're all having fun and partying, but you know, I do like to keep up to date on Hex, and that's kind of how we all know each other. Did anybody see that? Almost a hundred thousand dollar buy of hex. Uh, uh, yeah, we we uh, we just dis we already discussed it a bit. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Um, Joe Hexotic put it in the chat that um, seven point four million hex just when bought on it? Uniswap for yeah, like fifteen minutes ago or something. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's wow, cool. nice. But Jealous. actually, we, we we already got some settles, so it went oh, up to uh, that's to to one thirty three, and now it's down to one nineteen again. Yeah, that's that's yeah. gonna or one seventeen even. Yeah, this this has to be uh, what happens to get these guys out. I, I know totally. it's it's like uh, of course you know everybody's like oh we we just need to to go up and I think you know a lot of talk has been you know these huge wicks up but people 
they will sell into this. There's still so much liquid hex out there, a uh, lot less than there was uh, just even weeks or months ago. So it's getting I mean, less there, and there less. Will, and less. There will always be a lot of uh, liquid hex out there, but mm -hmm. uh, most of it will be in yeah stronger uh, in, hands. The strong, in the in the strongest <laughs> hands you can imagine. Yeah, it, you know? it is getting yeah. into stronger hands because every day yeah. you see yeah. longer stakes. You see stakes for three thousand, four thousand yeah. days. And they're they're not you know twenty five yeah, the, the, thousand the hex. They're millions, yeah. a lot of them. So yeah. And, and the best indicator for that is the the average weighted staking length, in my point of view. Mm -hmm. And if you just open up your stake app, you know, and you look at that, uh, you might have noticed that over big payday or like before big payday, it was like five point seven years, yep. and now it's already over five years. So that's Actually, that's a huge increase in uh, my point of view. Yeah, uh, that is a big indicator. We had, uh, just like you said, 4.8 years. Now we have like five years average staking. And people are putting their money in average, median average length in five freaking years on the, <laughs> in the future. It's so yeah, crazy to me. You, you also have to understand it's the weighted average length. So um, yeah, that's it's what not I'm saying. really easy to move. You know, it's not really easy to move this uh, number. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, Matli now needs to put down his camera. Maybe he's making <laughs> uh, weird faces when parking the car. <laughs> 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 uh, Matli is putting doing, away I'm the camera nonsense. because he's taking a drink. I'm doing the yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm driving to my uh, my wife's house, so I thought, here, let me turn off my camera, just be a little paranoid. Hey, no, man, uh, <laughs> Richard taught you well, brother. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Richard taught you well. <laughs> look, look, this is what we need to happen. MetaMask needs to do an airdrop. I need to make a lot of money, and then I can buy all the hex. And hex <laughs> needs to be subset uh, during that. No, airdrop. no more subset. That, yes, I'm done. Yes, subset MetaMask airdrop, and then I'm good. Then I'm content. <laughs> But okay. Mudley, you are because... already already one of our hex whales, so so why do you still bother? <laughs> not not quite, not quite working there. <laughs> not quite. Working my way there. All right, guys, I gotta go real quick. Uh, it was a pleasure. I was trying to get on earlier, but I was having issues. Uh, yeah, sure. You guys, if you guys are still Thanks going later joining. today, awesome. Yeah. Good. Thanks, for sure. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys later. So, Thank so, you for yeah. hanging out, our week. prosperous Poseidon. Hotly <laughs> was just talking about hex wealth, right? I hope I will be a hex wealth in the future someday. So, so who Mark, do we got now? Mark uh, just joined us. How's it going? Hello, good. how are you doing? Really good. Yeah. What's the up, video man? works perfect, sound works good. Everything fine, Hell man. Yeah. Yeah, like perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Cool. I just had to so uh, I refresh the computer, sorry. Awesome. Really? And in the chat I just see somebody saying he is a squid. Man, if you are squid right now, I am a dolphin right now. I think in the future, we can all be whales in the future if you just take a long term. So, guys, we just discussed in our German stream. What are you guys' dreams in the future? Me, for example, I want to um, drive around with the golden yacht in the future. I think I will buy a golden yacht and just drive around in the hexagon and just do hexagon uh, meetups in the in the future. What are yeah, your dreams? I, 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 I disagreed already. What are your dreams? <laughs> I, I disagreed already on 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 Ellen because you know I'm not I'm not the guy who likes to live on a boat. You know, even if, if it's a, a good y yacht or something. I'm telling you, man. You know, Alan, <laughs> Alan and I are yeah. hanging out, bro. Uh, I'm in the boat. <laughs> Life, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe renting it's a better idea right you don't have well financially <laughs> speaking yes but I, I, I do love the boat life so. sorry sorry patrick go ahead <laughs> no no okay go ahead yourself no. so I, I i agree with alan's point you know i think it would be sorry to interrupt but i think it would be cool to uh you know visit a lot of the Mexicans in the other states because I've, I've been to i mean i'm in washington state i've been to maybe like seven or eight other states but it would be cool to kind of do a local tour and then you know maybe see you guys uh you know across the world too just to just to copy that idea and then you know obviously some other stuff too like you know uh like a tesla would be badass you know i, I like the tesla cars and then uh, anyway some other stuff to, to kind of treat yourself you know we've stayed long enough you gotta reward yourself a little bit yeah hex goes to a dollar i'm gonna buy a spaceship and show up and hang out with all you guys <laughs> hell yeah man as well. Of course, like in a few years, you know, when when Musk is ready to uh, put tourists to space, uh, of course, one of a uh, fit hexagon is going to do it. I guess. 
Yeah, Maybe they're already need- going to the moon, eh? Or th- yeah. I thought a billionaire from, uh, was it Russia? He already paid to go up in space. That was like the first. And Virgin Air, they're going up in space. There's like, you know, SpaceX and Virgin Air, they're, I'm pretty sure they've already had someone pay to go to space. Yeah, and I think like that, I mean, not to get too off topic, but that is such an interesting investing space in my opinion from what i've read about it is like the the space industry that is like crypto was 10 years ago so i i personally not financial advice but i've been dabbling in a couple space stocks just you know to put you know a little bit in just to get in on some of it but that's that's the next frontier that's it's you know crypto to you know, is is money nowadays or will be, um, you know, space is our next frontier, you know, as, as living and planet wise. So I, I think it's such an interesting space to be investing in. Nothing to bet the farm on. I feel so much better with Hex and uh, products like it or just crypto in general, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, more so Hex, yeah, well, obviously. But yeah. I feel like that's a lot of the reason why Tesla's up so high is because people can't invest in his other companies. I don't think boring companies, you know, out there, he's got the SpaceX, but you can't buy SpaceX. You can only buy Tesla. So it's just investing in Elon. Same thing with like Hex. It's like where if if Richard Hart puts something else out, I'm going to buy in that too. (laughs) That's how you buy good products is you find the leader. And if they're smart, then yeah, we're we're smart. (laughs) Yep. Yep, absolutely. And getting back to uh, Alan's question about like dreams and stuff, I, we we've talked about it on uh, our happy hour in the states. But uh, Kinetics and I agree a lot on um, wanting to help um, people who we can help, or you know, putting putting that money towards good use. So whether it be you know animals, I don't know. Freddie quotes has talked about helping homeless. Um, I mean. Jeez, uh, if, if this opens up like it potentially could one day, um, you know, there, there's a lot of people that could do a lot more good in the world. Um, and I, I can't wait to help participate in that. So I'd love to do things for animals, homeless, veterans, um, anything I absolutely could. Now we're talking like personal dreams because, you know, I, all that stuff is wonderful. Uh, you know, I want to be cruising around on a yacht with Alan drinking beer and you know we'll 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 be chilling uh around the caribbean uh many many spots and we will go to multiple hex conferences we'll 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 have like a hexagon summer so we'll do one in like uh grand cayman we'll do one in acapulco we'll do one in bahamas uh how's this is that is that dreamy enough for you alan (laughs) yes perfect i would like first before i started the, the stream I was like, okay, I would get a yacht that is just big enough to comfort all my needs, all right? But now I met you, Kevin, and I'm thinking, why shouldn't I buy a, a yacht that is big enough for all of us so I can host all the Hexagons <laughs> there are and just Sorry. have a big party all year round? Uh, maybe that's something <laughs> that we could do. Get a yacht like- and then just have a fucking awesome day every single day in our life that's like yeah, we, 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 we satellite we satellite internet and to have a, a 24 hour live stream on the on the hex yacht you know doesn't doesn't <laughs> eli eli give us a star elon internet or? elon yeah elon giving us a starlink internet yes you can it's coming later this year yep. everywhere right absolutely <laughs> I already yeah, saw it, somebody I, I, who has a Starlink, uh, like 100 megabytes one in a second or something like this. It's crazy what Eli is doing. It's awesome. The future is awesome. Yeah, um, I was one of the first to sign up for that as soon as it became available in my area. I haven't gotten it yet because I think it's later this year, um, but I'm on the wait list and yeah, no brainer. I, I don't even care if I have to keep my traditional... Um, internet for a while to work out the bugs, but I want to participate in it. I want to understand it. I want to, you know, help give feedback on it because that that's the next thing. You see how many Starlink satellites are going up you know, every, every year. It's going to be everywhere. And even, 
you're not in more developed nations like you know your continents like in north america or something like that but bring internet to africa and things like that oh my gosh it's so cool yeah. are you fucking kidding me about africa um how is it like i'm german for example there's nobody in germany is uh, starting uh, tesla starting starling starting something like elon musk is doing how is it cabana crypto that you are american right Mm -hmm. Somebody of your people is starting something like Elon Musk is doing. It must you must be so proud of your country, aren't you? I I am very much, but I guess we. I, I don't know. I it, I mean I I am personally absolutely. Um, but it depends upon who you talk to, and you know there's such negative views of our country around the world as well. So, um, you know you have to, I guess, look at it as a you know, <laughs> who's talking about you or who's commenting about you or something like that. But I feel very proud. Um, and I, I can't say, you know, anything. So I love, I would have a, I would have a question to you American guys. Do you think that, um, during the summer, um, you will still be faced with a lot of restrictions or do you think that like, over summer it's it's getting better and that we uh, can can make a, 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 a hex conference you know even with with more than 50 people you know uh, in in the summertime yeah uh, Ellen, Ellen is uh, it's getting pretty hot you know That's awesome. and so from time to time he, he made this stuff already twice in the German stream so I guess okay. uh, right. I'm glad time. that he is living in Mexico right now because otherwise I guess some of our German viewers might um, uh, not be so uh, cool with that you know <laughs> because they are faced like six degrees or something like that yeah, right now. Oh. yeah, yeah I, I, snow. I see uh hex fabio in the chat where there's plenty of stuff not to be proud of but that is animation and so i'm proud of what we got and you know what it, it's life man i mean it's, there's some things that you don't want to happen and there are other things that you're proud yeah. of but yeah so you guys mentioned like futuristic technologies uh like starlink and you know things that elon musk is doing um i was having this conversation with a friend the other day but it, it's cool to see how like stuff that was a sci-fi like star trek or the jetson and stuff like that uh is now like becoming a reality and it's just even more uh baffling to think like man what are we going to see in the next you know five years ten years uh so to oh add on to the, your guys' point earlier about the you know what would you do with future money and stuff like that and kind of like the technologies too with uh, the moon stuff mm -hmm. it's, it's cool to see where we're going so, really... so i don't know how, how is the pool The pool is awesome. It's so great that I can just be sweaty all day. It's so hot, but then I go in the pool, cool off the great. Uh, the, the weather is just awesome, man. And then I just start working on whatever I do. Maybe I do memes, maybe I do the uh, videos <laughs> for my traveling shit. I, I don't know. But uh, to be able to cool off in the pool, it's so great. Uh, yeah, jo guys, Johnny what you what you what you see right here is a a full time hard working hexican. Yeah, it's yes. a full time yeah. really really hard working hexican right here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it does look like, but actually, in the in the couple of uh, weeks, I've never been working so hard that I'm working right now. Seriously, it is laughable, but right now I'm doing videos. Right now I'm researching something. You know, I'm I'm not get, getting bored at all. I'm not watching YouTube videos. I'm not watching TV. I'm working all day. It's so crazy to me. The videos are cool, by the way. I, I love to see the travel and like live vicariously through you guys. That's that's awesome. I hope to do something like that in the future. But at least for right now, we can watch yours and so with the antidote. Everyone's uh, everyone's got them. It's really cool. Yeah, thanks, okay, Max. I a bit hex. Are you the guy that's um, kind of a perpetual traveler? Yeah. I, I started yeah. being a perpetual traveler like one month ago, but it, um, I'm not the only one. Patrick actually is a perpetual, pet, perpetual traveler as well. We are just yeah, um, since, being since four days. Since four days. <laughs> since nice. four days. We are uh, travelers in every country we go. We, uh, we are just considered a traveler because we don't want to pay taxes. We don't be um, eligible for anything uh, that you have to do in a country. We are just tourists, and tourists won't be touched in any country. That's so great. 
Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Like a lot of people, I try to say that and explain that to, I mean, when you're thinking about taxes and nation states and then citizenship, and then it's like, who's in charge? What authority is anything under? It's like, oh, well, I'm perpetually traveling as what? You know, you're just a perpetual yeah. traveler. Like, what are you? I don't like it's a wild concept like I really love that I want to I mean I'm I'm, I'm fairly old I, I've looked into it and it's just a really I mean <laughs> it could be awesome like I really what? love it yeah, I mean I mean that. actually actually you only need to have uh, two or three um, bases around the world where you'd like to be because um, I mean, I guess with the American passport is kind of the same, but with my Austrian passport, I have access to about 182 countries in the world or something like that. And uh, for each and every one, when I enter, I get a 90 day visa and uh, this visa I can extend for little money for another 90 days. So um, if you like be like really exact, you only need like two bases. Uh, nice. like two points uh, in the world where you uh, go around but I guess with, with three I, I, I'm I fine you know and one of those bases I'm trying to build up here in Colombia so I was here uh, the first time in 2010 and um, I yeah just was like the first point to to go right now for me. So I canceled everything in, in Austria. I hadn't to cancel uh, a lot because I was working in um, in big hotels the last uh, years. And um, there I worked and lived. So in a, most of the time in a smaller room, you know, and um, to live basically for, for free uh, without to, the, the need to, to pay rent. That's why I had the opportunity to uh, invest uh, good amount of money uh, because I did not need so much money per month what I was earning and uh, yes with this all this nice price appreciation we got uh, with Hex um, it's now possible to really leave Austria because uh, mm -hmm. besides Hex I built up some other passive income sources as well and uh, yeah um, in those cheap countries like Colombia right here, it's um, pretty easy to live for uh, a few hundred bucks per month, you know. So, for example, the, the rent here is $350 per month. Nice. Speaking of which, um, Alan, if, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how much is it over there? I mean, you got a pool in your backyard. Uh, what is that kind of cost like per, per month, if you don't mind? Well, I'm paying um, $650 a month for this nice. apartment right now. And I'm That's staying cool. here in this apartment for two months. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I thought, man, this is so such a great place. I only book, booked it for one week. And then I thought, man, that's just awesome. I have to book it for longer. Then I booked it for two months. And I realized this is living way cheaper than I would uh, live in Germany. In Germany, I would have the same, but then I wouldn't have the pool. Then I would have to pay for uh, gas. Then I would have to pay it for electricity and all that, this crazy taxes. So for me, it was way cheaper to live in a state like Mexico, maybe in Colombia, than living in, in, in Germany. And that's why I think, thought, man, it's way better for me, the opportunity cost to just go out and live somewhere in the world then uh, just live uh, gen to live in Germany, you know? That, that is it working again? Do you hear me, guys? Yep. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Okay, nobody's You're saying back. anything. It broke down for everybody, or what? Yeah. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, on your end. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not, not the only host, but maybe because I'm one of the hosts, um, I just broke it down for everybody. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened there. You know, yesterday I had a three-hour stream with Maddie Allen, and uh, it everything was perfect, you know, no lag, nothing at all, you know, just uh, five, five times where I had, like, uh, where I missed one or two words uh, of the whole sentence he was saying and nothing else. But now, even before in the German stream, I had some issues. I guess it's because of all this rain. No, I think if you you're... Guys, it's crazy. We have 2021 and we have all those internet issues, right? And we are, all of us, we are working with the internet. We are earning money with the internet because we are in hacks, because we are in Ethereum and maybe some are in Bitcoin as well. But we are like living on the internet 
in the future, in like five years from now, internet won't be a problem anymore because Elon Musk has it all figured out for us with Starlink, right? So yeah. what is there to, to fear <laughs> for us in the future? It's so crazy. So, I think that the, the future is going to be awesome for us, Hex. Satellite internet is definitely pretty cool, and it's uh, it's awesome to think that you can have gigabit speed for satellite internet. You know, like Kabana mentioned, you know, Africa and all these other countries. I mean, how many more Kareems are just sitting in Africa waiting for their opportunity? You know, like th that would be awesome to just uh, have the the whole world kind of globally be um, connected and, and have the similar opportunities, and and uh, you know, we could solve a lot of problems that way. Yeah, not For to sure. get too deep. I mean, I mean, when you're talking about the currency, I mean, having it, it is kind of scary when you think about a, a universal currency. But I mean, we already have, you know, a universal fiat currency and, you know, that's not working out for most people. And then the more you look into that, it's like, hey, can we have a better option? It's like, sure, here's hex. It's a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when, when we uh, we can go like a bit uh, philosophically here, but uh, um, like when we look into what is money and what makes money money and w w what money is a good money and all that stuff, you know, um, you need to be able to transport it pretty easy. You need to be able to break it down pretty easy. It should be a store of value. Um, it should be accepted by other people to be a medium of exchange and it's actually, and yeah, I would like, would have come to that point, uh, because hex really is, um, the definition of money because there is also something, um, I don't know how it's called in, in, in English, in German, it's called the, the, the money this as Geld theorem. So the money theorem or something like that, it's like a, a circle when you ask why money has value, uh, the answer is because it has demand. And if you ask why money has demand, the answer is because it has value. So you are like in a, in a circle and to, to exit this circle, you need to go back in time and look what happened like at the beginning. And at the beginning, it was, uh, it, it has demand without a price. So uh, at the beginning of a good money there, because in the beginning of gold, nobody uh, gave it a price, you know, uh, only after time, because there was already demand, uh, it became value as well. And with Hex, it was the same because um, it, people were, were waiting for this currency, you know, people were waiting for this money. So, and immediately on the first day, they gave it a, a yeah, a bit of an accelerated price, you know. Uh, you, you all know that. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> well, philosophically, that's like as soon as you name me, you uh, disable me, or kind of a thing. So it's like that looping pattern of hex was everybody's envision of what the fuck that was. And as soon as you label it as something else, then it kind of loses value. And then over time, everyone comes up and keeps dividing what currency actually is, which is actually, you know, energy, like on an electrical scale. And it's like, you can transport that into any realm you want to live in. Like it's, and then you mathematically talk about it and then economically talk about it. But it's like, how the fuck did I wake up this morning? That was currency running through my body. Where'd that come from? Like, how are we now yeah. entangling this currency into a commoditized way of looking at anything? It's like, it's just, it gets to a point where when you're a billionaire, you're not thinking about money the same way. Like Richard Hart's on a different level where he's not thinking about money the way we think of it. We're not, he's not labeling hex as, oh, I got to buy a gallon of milk next week because the baby's going to starve or some shit. He's not thinking about currency that way. And a lot of people can't even yeah. begin to think of money in that way. So that's the thing. It's like, what is hex? Well, don't even don't even think that you know what hex is like, or it current like it's just like it's gonna be, it, it's great and it's becoming better and better day by day. I mean, I I, I would say that I think that I know what hex is. <laughs> 
it, it is designed, like Richard mentioned, to become the global reserve currency and like the best store of value. And, you know, Mark kind of mentions like without manipulation of third parties or middlemen or central banks, you know, like it just works and functions 100 percent uptime. And it's really cool. It does kind of give everyone like a uh, level playing field and an even playing field um, in, in terms from like, you know, the amount of shares you own and kind of just uh, being able to outlast some of the other stakers and be able to keep that share rate for the time of the stake. Well, it's also like a timeline of like what's Richard Hart's real ultimate goal of, you know, glory, basically. Like he's on this egotistical, I'm going to fucking make things better and I'm going to bring people along. Like he's doing that and Hex is just like they're talking about forking it, calling something else. Like I'm not married to Hex. It didn't exist last year. It's like this is what Richard's doing to improve everybody's life. Like call it Hex, call it whatever. I mean, Richard Hart's just doing it. Whatever that is, I don't know what it is, but it's the best thing I've come across. Hex, I mean, I, I, false, I, I, I still, I, I still think that in the end it will still call Hex because um, we. Uh, put it a lot of effort into building up the hex brand already you know so it uh, won't yeah it's not useful for the ecosystem if it would be called something else um but i how i see it it uh, might be called something else uh before it's going live you know so like on the test track. Alan, can you mute yourself when you do that next to your microphone, Peter, please? Uh, All right. <laughs> and um, so um, I guess maybe on the test net it will be called like Hex 2 or yeah, something else, you know? And uh, once it's tested out uh, perfectly, then there will be an announcement of, uh, of I don't know, like one day where nobody can, can do anything. And on this day, we are moving on to our proper blockchain. And uh, on the next day, everybody can do everything like he's used to. It's called Hex again. And uh, you don't need any ease. And you can um, swap and um, stake and end stake for a small Hex fee, you know. Oh, absolutely. And I, I mean, I have all of my money in Hex because it's the best thing out there. But I'm just saying, like, yep. when it comes to, like, international marketing or whatever, it's like, you know, Burger King and McDonald's, they sell what the customer wants. If they go to China, they sell them, you know, egg rolls in their fucking salad. I don't know. You go somewhere else, you know, it is this, it is that. It's like what Richard's ultimate goal right now is hex and it's doing its service to get to the ultimate goal but there is a bigger plan and forking it is not going to end anything it's just a continuation of the glory of what richard hart is planning on doing and getting a great wonderful community up to help him and inspire him it's the same thing with any like group of friends like you can accomplish anything mm -hmm. like we you know it could be the fab five for basketball or it could be you know anybody it's just it's that currency that market it's just i like to think of things bigger than just like one name like well the difference whatever. is yeah. the only difference is the substrate right it's just not going to be on ethereum it's going to be on its fork of ethereum so yeah hex is still going to be hex it's just going to be uh, instead of ethereum it's going to be on on its own you know fork of ethereum yeah, I, do you, does anyone know what grayscaling is? Um, yes, I mean grayscale is a uh, uh, or go ahead, Cabana. I guess you can explain it better in English. Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's essentially like a trust in terms of uh, you know Bitcoin. It's an easier accessible vehicle for stock investors uh, without crypto knowledge <laughs> to get into Bitcoin. So essentially it would be an easier vehicle to get into a hex. Um, obviously there's a lot of legal and I would think that because of um, hex is what it is and there's more or how should I say it? Um, there, there are less detailed. I mean, Bitcoin is like anonymous, right? Uh, or, you know, as much as it can be, and it was developed that way. But um, Hex, I think there's, because it's considered an altcoin more so, uh, hmm. I, I think there's more, there's a lot more legal than what we would want 
to get into a grayscale type vehicle. I would think that would absolutely be huge if we can do that. And Richard has indicated in his recent streams that he's very interested in doing that. And he's like, hey, grayscale, uh, Barry Shilbert and y'all, if you don't do that, if you don't get Hex in, they added just, I think, five more coins this morning. Um, uh, like basic attention token, chain link, and file coin, and two others. And he's like, okay, well, you, you keep adding all these others, but you're not adding the one that is essentially a time deposit, locking up money and securing funds. He's like, if you don't do that, I'm going to build it. And, you know, yeah, that's awesome for us Hexkins, but the I, 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 I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know, but I would just think, <laughs> grayscaling crypto goose in the chat. I see you. Uh, I like the, uh, the verb there, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. There's so many unknowns as to how difficult that could be l legally speaking. So I, I just don't know. I can't speak on the legal side of it. It would be awesome. Absolutely. Unequivocally for hex. Can you speak about it within the realm of forking? How is it related with forking? Is that even like a relatable topic? I don't know. Well, really that I don't know. I, I would like defer to a crypto coffee or a Motley investor, or Big Kurkowski. Um, those guys are more on the technical side, but I believe the forking would allow more easily um, the transition of such an instrument. So. You know, I, I don't want to get too in the weeds with that. I'm like Johnny Chaos. I'm like, man, I'm not going to, you know, get into the technical stuff because I'm more on the price side and investing side. And I don't want to screw something up for somebody who might be listening that's trying to to learn on the tech side. <laughs> but, yeah, I just heard funding Jim. He came in the uh, T dot me chat or whatever, and he was talking yeah, yeah. about grayscaling. And I was just like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but it sounds good. Like, I mean, no, was... it's, it's just a way for it's, it's another avenue of adoption. So basically grayscale is the first step that if you think about, um, you know, if Bitcoin were to go to an ETF, which is like the ultimate goal, right? It's like, oh my gosh, we have the S and P 500. We have the NASDAQ 100 and any other biotech, whatever tech ETF that you can imagine, you could put those funds into that vehicle and as a stock and just set it and forget it. Um, you can do that with Bitcoin via stock. You don't have to own the coins. It's, you know, you buy it, you know, for whatever exchange, I believe it's, I think NYSE and it's a stock It's GBTC and you buy it like a stock. And of course the premium fluctuates and there's a whole, that's a whole nother topic, but it acts like a stock and it's just, an easier investment vehicle for those who are not in the know about crypto, who don't have a Coinbase account, uh, who don't know how to put keys on a wallet. You get in, you own it, you feel like you own it, and the it you know it, it's it's an onboard. Onboards for Hex, they're hard to come by right now. I mean, no huge exchanges to speak of, and you know something like that well, would would spread it even I more. So it happened yes, again, it or is, what? A grayscale is grayscale is a solution Everybody for big big players to off get or what? Hex, right? Because, like for example, let's say Germany. Anyone example, miss me? Germany is the whole You're here, guys. Okay. Go ahead, Germany yeah. by, for a country cannot buy into Hex right now because it's like way too small right now. Um, yep. But with gray, grayscale, you could buy up grayscale like shares of Hex. And uh, then the price wouldn't move against you right now. So I think something like uh, Richard Hart is saying about um, building his own grayscale is really good for big investors to um, make it easy for them to do not make their own MetaMask, to not invest in like Ethereum uh, one uh, layer one, but in, uh, to invest in something that is grayscale but for Hex. And I think that will bring big investors into a Hex ecosystem. And um, I think the grayscale we have right now with the Bitcoin and stuff, I don't know. I think this will bring adoption, but only for the big, big investors, not the little fishes that you and me are, but the big, big investors that are 
in the world right now? I don't know, man. You're sitting by a pool and you don't have to work, so I think you're a pretty big fish, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're a big enough fish. That's all I got to say. So, no, but yeah, there's a couple of good comments in chat. Like, Johnny Chaos is like, it's a custodial service for those who don't want to manage their own funds. And yeah, it's in Crypto Goose. It's a way to bring in the masses. So yeah, it it, it is. It's it's just an onboarding mechanism. It makes it easier for um, the masses to get in. And you know whether that is a good or bad thing, it's it's up for debate. I've seen a, a, a recent, I guess, within the past twenty four hours on Twitter, some conversation. Uh, you know Johnny Chaos is part of this as to Coinbase or a big exchange uh, listing hex. So I just, you know, wanted, would love to ask, you know, Bran and Marcavelli and Alan, uh, what, you, what is your opinion? Do you think it would be good or bad for Coinbase or another huge exchange to actually list hex? To me, I don't think we need it, but that's just me. It would yeah, be- You like already asked for that. We don't actually need it. If, if they do it, okay, they can earn money on Hex because if they sell Hex, uh, the people are going to have to pay fees because they're going to buy it on uh, Coinbase or whatever. So if they want to sell Hex, they can make it just so they can earn some interest. But at the end, we don't need Coinbase. We don't need Binance. We don't need anybody to sell Hex because we are already in a Uniswap where you can change your Ethereum decentralized into Hex. I mean, you know, there's there's always, yeah, you know, it could be a higher sell pressure. It, it could be more avenues of, of adoption, like you guys mentioned with the Grayscale thing. I mean, I think it's really cool that Richard is, you know, possibly setting up his own Grayscale type of uh competitor or similar thing for hacks and then uh, things like that because it does bridge the gap between crypto which is like the new cypherpunk stuff between um you know the more stock kind of old system and if, if people can get exposure into things such as hex shares like richard had mentioned in that stream and, and not have to hold the keys, not have to do this. And you can't even redeem it for Hex. It's just the actual share itself that it would be, you know, valued at. Um, you know, that that could allow for a lot of extra capital to come in that wasn't maybe willing to before. And a lot of people, yeah, you know, it, it could be extra sell pressure in the short term, but it could also be a lot of legitimacy in the long term because a lot of people, especially the boomer generation, they're, they like, they, um, they, they like those more legitimate, uh, not legitimate, but they like the easier route of, uh, of onboarding and, hey, you know, maybe it would allow for a lot more money to, uh, to come in. Yeah, Coinbase is, I mean, it's the more you use it, the more friendly they are. The beginning really sucked. I mean, waiting, I mean, for onboarders or if you're a big person, I don't even think you can you can't like move more than five hundred dollars. I thought like I don't know what the what the limits are with Coinbase. Like I felt like I was stuck to transacting five hundred dollars at a time, five hundred dollars at a time, three day wait, three day wait. And I was because that was building up the big paydays when I really FOMO'd in, and it was like five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. It was a fucking nightmare. So <laughs> I mean, whatever listed on there, but that's the thing. Like Richard Hart talks about is like. um you know, he's just not sucking middleman dick. He's not going out of his way to contact Coinbase. If, if someone in the yeah. community knows someone at Coinbase, hey, dumbass, you're fucking losing out on a bunch of money. This is the future. Fucking list this. Like, if it was that simple, boom. You know? But it's like, who's who's making that happen? He's not making it happen because he doesn't really give a fuck. He doesn't care about an exchange making money off of his coin. It's his fucking coin. He doesn't care about exchanges helping. Like, I don't know. But yeah, someone who's... Yeah, I don't know. Well, at the end, they are all middlemen, right? Even Coinbase is a middleman. That's all. Yeah, that's why he's not promoting the idea of making it easier. And a lot of, you know, 
OG hexagons talk about like why we want to make things easier on people. It's like let's just accumulate for as long as we can, <laughs> or even have the price go down so we can get more because we know what the fuck's going on and other people don't. And it's like real. I mean, long term thinking. It's like who gives a shit? It's like yeah. get. I just want as much as you can get. And it's like it's really. It's like who's Who's pushing it the most? Who really wants, who needs the money the most? Are you going to get it out there? Are you going to call up Coinbase time and time and time and time and time and time? Just, hey, Coinbase, what the fuck? What are you doing? Like, my buddy wants to buy this hex right now, and he can't do it because he doesn't understand what the fuck a MetaMask wallet is. And he's only got 20 bucks, and it costs 20 bucks to send the fucking 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gonna happen eventually, but it's just like he doesn't care. It's like it's not what Richard Hart's doing fucking billionaire shit. Like he's not really thinking about the guy with twenty bucks trying to onboard through Coinbase. Right. Yeah, but, but that's, we have that's, this problem already. I was gonna say he that's what Richard we, wants though. He wants he wants these extra users in because he's like it is absolutely disgusting that we can't get more people involved because of these fees and they're just gonna go up. What's up, Johnny Chaos? Hey, what's up, Johnny? All, All right, right. Johnny Chaos Mars in the house. All I like right. your background. I don't have a pool behind me, Alan, but uh, I'm sitting here on my lounge chair, hanging out on my deck. So that's yeah, cool. We'll, we'll, Damn we'll do it, broke plat. You don't even have a pool in your backyard. How You're broke, broke you plat. You <laughs> don't have a pool in your backyard. That's crazy. I'm, I'm going to upgrade. Even, I'm going to get a mode. Are you even in Hex if you don't have a uh, pool in the background? Yes, yeah, I see it. <laughs> All right, so I got a jet here in a few minutes, okay. but I did want to circle back to uh, Patrick's question because I didn't answer it. And uh, he posed it to all of us. So he uh, mentioned the possibility of, say, a, a U.S. Uh, conference and that really depends upon the state so okay. it, it is totally state dependent it's totally who the governor is that's the top of mind florida came to mind because they are open and it's a warm climate and that's it is what it is and that's that's why i said that so yeah it's totally state dependent um i hope it's sooner than later i can't wait to actually meet uh johnny in person just i just say johnny first because he was one of the first guys I ever streamed with on uh totally. uh discourse syndicate uh i remember it because i was on the beach last year and it was freaking covid and there was nothing to do and i'm like holy crap we got we got like a stream going it's me and rg3 and johnny and you know it was just a cool afternoon i'll never forget that it was so fun but yeah, Brian, and uh, first time being on with you, Marco Belli, yeah, and oh, yeah. um, Alan and Patrick. Uh, I've been on your stream before, so thank you for hosting me. Um, I, I can't wait to do this, man. It, 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 Richard said it as well. He can't wait to do it. It's gonna be so freaking fun. We, we we can't just like do it to do it. If if it's gonna be a freaking hexagon, like the first one. We gotta do it. So, totally. not just spur the moment. We, we'll plan it and you know make proper arrangements. But I'm so looking forward to to meeting everybody. But it is state dependent. That's that's kind of what I wanted to circle back on Patrick with there. Yeah, I mean, I I hope we we will not need to be faced so much uh, restrictions in the summer. Yeah, and it's it's easier in the summer, I think, because well, there's a lot of things going for it. So I think if you quote science, like it, it it's better when in warmer weather. So that's one thing going for it, and two, the vaccine. So it, it's just math at that point. If you are vaccinating exactly, yeah, the yeah. older population and the vulnerable, and a third of the population essentially, well, I guess a quarter by now a quarter has been vaccinated okay that those those are the few percent that were the most vulnerable that have been taking up the most hospital space 99 point what is it six percent of everybody else who has not been vaccinated or has chosen not to do it will be fine let's let's get back to life that's just my little yeah yeah <laughs> 
and and, and my, my take on it is like that um first we did not know like what is coming to us now we do know we have a year more of uh scientific Absolutely. experience we have a cure yeah so to say um so um at least we know uh, uh, like way better like how to treat it and um so why why shouldn't we be able to go back to life and what i uh, have um been written or reading was uh, that some states already uh, are out of any r rules or regulations like yeah, texas it, or in florida yeah. and so on yeah like i said it depends upon the governor in fact uh, texas and florida um are essentially well on their way to being as open you know as any other place is right now and mm -hmm. it, again it's unfortunate and it's disgusting to me personally that politics are involved to in education and all this stuff that's a totally other rant but just math let's get back to life the vulnerable have been taken care of or are be, being taken care of in a couple months i think we'll all be okay let's just get back to life all right yeah, my uh, my kids got a better chance of drowning than dying from COVID. So fuck this bullshit. Stats are out well, there. Yeah, what, I don't what? know if you'll have to say fuck this bullshit. Um, I don't know about all that bullshit. I'm just saying if you want to participate in the game of life, you have to take the risk of getting infected. <laughs> and if you're getting infected, maybe you die or maybe you don't die. So if you want to go out without the mask, without the mask scene and all that stuff, it's all on you. The risk is on you. So, man, it's all on you. As the if. government doesn't, the government should not tell you, you have to close you down your business. You have to not travel to that place. It's all on you. If you're taking the risk, you are taking the risk, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, I if, totally. Uh, well, there's you... sure no Sure way they shut us down when we start talking about them. Yeah. <laughs> start talking yeah, that's about why, them. Yeah, they, that's, that's how they get removed from YouTube. That's, quick, that's, that's how right. you get. Just don't monetize <laughs> the channel. You'll be all right. So, yeah. Right. So so I just wanted to stop in real quick to you guys since you kind of summoned me there, Cabana. Uh, yeah. the, I the, did the, not. The I just – I, I, I loved your comments, bro. <laughs> We're summoning the, you. The, 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 whole, the whole Coinbase thing was, no, we don't need them. Uh, but in the interim, uh, as we are having high ETHs and we're having difficulty onboarding, there is an opportunity for Coinbase that they need to be aware of, which would make things more easy for us, is the fact that they could be making these fees at this point in time. If they were a smart business, they would be capitalizing on the fact that there is this demand that they could be making fees on. Um, we're not going to win any favors or win any, 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 anything with them calling them stupid or, or, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, taking, taking shots at them because, you know, that's, that's, that's not going to get us where we need to go. Showing them that there is an interest, like for instance, if you have a Coinbase account and writing them a letter saying, look, you know, you guys have this auto purchase thing set up. I'm really not interested in purchasing on a regular basis any other coins that you're carrying right now. But if you were to add hex, I would pledge to purchase X amount per month on an auto renewal. And if they were if they got enough of these replies, that would just be silly for them to pass up that opportunity because that would be regular residual income for them, right? Yeah. So just, I think adding hex in the app, like if you add it as a tracker, but it's, oh, it's, it's there. available in there. It's there. So it's, just, it's just add it. Yeah. So everybody should add that immediately to their coin base and track it and follow it as a favorite because they do do statistics where they have to report on the, co the coins that are being most viewed, right? So this is part of where they make their decisions from what they're going to list. And they have listed a lot of crap. And a lot of that crap gets listed because they're paid off to do so. But the fact that the opportunity in Hex is there and it's beyond – what you know they're seeing at the moment they, they still have improper listings they're pulling their data from uh either coin gecko or coin market cap so they got us at like 1.9 billion dollar market cap and we're like seven Jeez. you know uh they're 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 a little bit behind and they're not really receiving the information so if we're able to 
show them that there is an interest, then maybe they'll react responsibly and say, hey, you know, we're missing out here. So that's where I was going with that. Not because we need them, okay. but because that does make it convenient for new coiners, you know, new people to come in the space, people that do have Coinbase, people that aren't bright enough to know how to do all the uh, maneuvers to get into hacks. I get people all the time. Well, wh where, where can I buy it? Well, oh, yeah. I've told that story. You have to do this. <laughs> you have to do this. Say, look, go on your Coinbase and buy it. I mean, it's done, right? That's 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 the quickest way. Of course, yep. they have to move it off of there, and then they have to stake it. But even that transition is not as expensive as trying to move along the Ethereum network. Uh, leaving the exchange doesn't cost you as much as trying to do a transfer from uh, your MetaMask wallet uh, or from from uh, doing a transaction on uh, Uniswap. So uh, it's Great. it's just opportunity. Yeah, and especially if the fees are going to go up in end staking like they are in a few weeks. Yeah. I mean, that's just an added incentive to possibly, you know, go elsewhere or add an incentive for an exchange to, to list it because there could be, you know, who knows, like six, 12 months of like a dark hex winter in a sense <laughs> to where, you know, it, it's... Nobody wants to lock up in that time and have it have a stake expiring in that window because of the fees. Now, I mean, if you're a whale and you have millions and millions of hex, that 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 fee's not going to bother you. But holy crap, man! I mean, if you already have a a stake coming out and you're not, you know, owning or staking, you know, half a million hex or something like that, or a quarter million hex. That, that fee's going to punch you in the mouth, man. Yeah. I, I've learned to do, like, uh, shorter, like, not to be so frequent, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm doing any new stakes, they're larger amounts of hacks, and then, honestly, they're for, uh, you know, more longer uh, period of, periods of time. But, but yeah, I mean, you're right. In, in the short term, it definitely does kind of kind of beat us up, mm -hmm. and it does kind of slow the network down, and, it's kind of like the phase we're in with, with a lot of the uh, Ethereum network kind of being used. But I think this is definitely just a like temporary position that we're going to be in. And I do agree with Johnny's point that, yeah, it's not like we need Coinbase or are begging for Coinbase, but it would be more convenient if someone already had Coinbase and they could just buy it. Because I've, I've got friends, same thing. A coworker was like, Brian, what's this hex thing? Uh, you know, I want to get into it. And, you know five steps later and they were actually willing to do it. But uh, anyways, it could be another avenue of uh, more capital. No, it's such a great point. And I, I tell the same, the same story I, I've already told probably like two months ago, a buddy of mine was like, uh, how, how do I buy it? Where do I go? And it just, I, I I'm sold, man. Just this is, this is really cool. What, what I, uh, what I've learned, what I'm reading about, where can I buy it? How do I do it? And is like, well, you got to do the Ethereum and the MetaMask. And it's like, oh, well, you take that step, you know, there's multiple steps out for that much of a population that would get it. And especially like, holy crap, just to think about this has just occurred to me. <laughs> so the, I'm just thinking about this in real time right now. So the timing of this potential interview with Lex Friedman could be huge, right? So... Oh. If he has a million subscribers, whatever, so many people hear about Hex and then it's like, okay, this is awesome, which I hear a lot from people that I introduce it to. How do I get in immediately? Man, if, if there are so many bridges to, to cross to get there, that, that's a detriment to the... <laughs> To the product. That's the thing, and... though, with with uh, Lex Friedman, his his followers are fucking smarter than hell. Like, oh, he's an no, AI no. programming scientist. Like, I, I so agree he's with that, the perfect I'm person saying, to go to. Yeah, I'm just saying, like the masses, I, man. So, just, I mean, you, you multiply know, like the... you take like 33 percent of that, and they don't know. Um, 
man, that's that's a large swath of the population that that would be left out. And uh, granted, humans are lazy by nature, and it's like, oh well, I, I tried, uh, you know, setting up this MetaMask thing. It was too difficult. Crypto I, I totally, is difficult. Crypto I, by itself is difficult for most yeah. people. Anybody just now learning about crypto is is going to have difficulty getting into crypto, and it actually adds layers of additional complexity to it that does deter people on the way in. So any way that we can simplify it is going to be better. Uh, so any, you know, the, the, the grayscale solution is a custodial service, which basically allows you to buy OTC cash over the counter. Boom, you're in. OK, that is one one type of solution, a direct purchasing on ramp or Viot ramp. That is another way that that simplifies things. You can say, look, you just go to Coinbase. Boom. There you go. You're done. You don't have to trade. You don't have to exchange. So these are options that would be great. But again, we don't we we only have control over what we have control over. And the fact that we don't have control over what the ETH miners do and the way they run up the rates and stuff like that. Richard's taking those steps to regain the control and the dependency that we have on the rest of the crypto space. So if Richard would open up his own grayscale solution or direct fiat purchasing ramp, which he's inclined to do and heading in that direction, that's going to free up a lot of this, this stuff. So the Freeman, uh, you know, uh, interview is going to be great, but unfortunately, like man is saying, there are going to be a massive amount of those viewers that would love to get on, but there's no place to direct them to, to easily get on. They're going to have to want to do the due diligence. They're going to have to want to cross the bridges. They're going to have to take that long walk to get into Hex. And a lot of people will quit along the way. And uh, that's where that simplification is necessary. Yeah, but Mark Avelli made he brought up a great point. I mean that that viewership, um, I, I you know, I, I do agree with that. It it is a more intelligent group of the population. So I think a higher percentage of that uh, viewership would get in as opposed to another channel. So that was a great point that uh, you brought up, man. Um, but but you could be a rocket scientist and not know how to. Oh, no, I I'm totally I've, I'm feeling oh. both sides, man. So I, well, I just want they're, they're... I just want max gain for you know the hexagon community, yeah. and uh, yeah yeah cool. we we can get more out of that audience than we would another audience. But man, the maybe maybe that's by design. Maybe it's part of the game theory. Maybe that's why Richard is kind of like delaying it a little bit. Maybe uh, the interview doesn't happen until the fork happens, and it's like you know what? Boom! This is where you go. Well, what do you think Zegraph trying to do? They're trying to simplify things as well. So to Johnny's point, I mean, you know, ideally the less steps you have from fiat to hex, the better. And whether that's them not actually having physical hex and instead it's like a grayscale option that Richard mentioned that would be uh, not redeemable for hex, but it would still be like a, a similar grayscale type of thing. You know, grayscale, you can't redeem it for Bitcoin. You can only redeem it for the fiat value. Uh, you know, I think that that could be we seem to be progressing slowly, but that could be a giant step in the adoption phase that would, you know, start this S curve from curving upward as opposed to kind of just sitting flat at, at a penny like we have been with the, uh, you know, the actual hex share rate. So I think all of those things will inevitably happen. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, the timing of, of the, well, it's, it's all exciting, right? So... You have this uh, supposed Lex Friedman uh, interview could happen hopefully sometime this year. Um, I guess as Hex skins as a community, we want it sooner than later uh, just for, you know, a bump in price. Not, you know, because we, we want to end stake or anything like that, but to get this liquid out. And the longer this happens, the the more these liquid guys get out. We see this bump in price. We just saw it what an hour or two ago, and it gets sold into. Um, that liquid is slowly going away, and those stakes are slowly getting longer. As Patrick said earlier, um, that staking length is getting longer and longer and longer. This product is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So, ah. Uh, and it's exciting. It's just you gotta you gotta hang on. Motley Motley has said it 
Motley Investor has said it uh, a few times. He's like, if you can just make it, um, you know, past these next three to six months at least, your long term self could very well be so happy. No, no promises, no guarantees, but man, just, just we're, we're at the beginning boys. We're at the beginning. That's what we were talking about in our German stream as well. If you can just now use this accumulation phase in the next uh, couple of months to just buy in into hex, man, you guys, I want to ask you the same question that I was asking in the German chat as well. You guys, if you have not known about crypto at all, you do not know about Bitcoin, you do not know about uh, Ethereum or Hex, you just found about cryptocurrency right now, how much dollars you would need to have to be sure to have, you know, I'm settled for the next years of my life. I don't have to worry anymore. Like my, my brother, for example, I have not spent any dollar for my brother all I did for my brother was just um, using my referral link to refer to his account. So I was spending like $10. He got like 10% of it, right? Because of the adoption amplifier back then. And I think he is already set for the future. He has this uh, hex set out for the next couple of years. His stacking ladder is perfect for the next 15 years. So my question for you guys is how much dollars you would have to invest nowadays to be settled for the future in the long run cabana what do you think well uh it depends on, I mean, are you talking just hex or crypto it, it doesn't matter uh, all in general if it's bitcoin if it's ethereum if it's hex obviously hex will always give you more return in the future but let's yeah. say you take the worst, the the worst crypto you can find, which is Bitcoin right now. <laughs> How many Bitcoin you would have to now uh, have right now? How many dollars in Bitcoin? You would say you would feel be comfortable to say, man, if you have so many Bitcoin right now, you will be good in the future. Because I'm fucking crazy. Like, let's say 2019 in November 2019. I was like, okay, there is something that is called Bitcoin. I knew at this moment that I will never have to work in my life again, just because I understood the, the principles of cryptocurrency. Yep. Man, all right. What year? 2019? You said 2019. Yeah. So I... 29. So right now, I mean, it depends upon your... I always say it depends upon your time horizon and where you think the crypto can go. So if I were just in Bitcoin, I believe personally, and I've been, you know, in disagreement and, you know, it, it's just a fun little thing, but, you know, I think a lot of the hex community and crypto community, well, hex community, I should say, and Richard are more bearish on Bitcoin than I am. I think we can get, to six digits this cycle rather easily um in four five years i think theoretically as a store value bitcoin could hit a million so if you have a bitcoin or two and if you can wait five years i think depending upon what you want to do with your life you could be pretty well off but, as opposed but, to but other may i jump in type. on this yes absolutely yeah um sorry for my uh lagging here and so on um i think that we will hit easily a six figures bitcoin i agree on that but i also think that we will see lower bitcoin prices as we have right now in the like after this bull uh, cycle as well i agree so with that. I would rather buy something which has a uh, has way more upside potential, and even in beer market phases, I I, I get more, you know. And uh, I like I would, uh, yeah. 
I liked your question to Alan. Like, do you talk about crypto or hack specifically? Because that's also a thing I would like to teach Alan, <laughs> because he's always asking like about crypto in general. But it's it's so much of a difference uh, if you talk about Bitcoin or Ethereum or if you talk about hacks. And uh, yeah, so Alan, please be more specific if you mean crypto in general or hack specifically. <laughs> no, well. You know, when I, 2019, in December 2019, when I just learned about Bitcoin, there was And that's no the thing, and that's there, the thing, Alan. Sorry to jump in no on hate. that, but, but that, that's the thing, Alan, because uh, when you found out about crypto, crypto was uh, at the bottom of the beer market cycle, you know? So uh, you did not found out about crypto in December of 2017 or something like that. So you haven't been in a downward cycle where Bitcoin goes down 80%, yeah? Uh, that's the reason why you are not that specific on, on, on your questioning, you know? Because um, I'm way more bullish on Hex than I am on, on Bitcoin or Ethereum, for example. You're totally right. That's why I'm so so freaking bullish on crypto in general because i have not experienced a bear market at all i went into crypto 100 percent when i was at the totally um, end of at all like i went into it when hex just started and i went all into hex right away so it was a great experience for me at all so this is why i have the feeling that anybody anybody who is like just knowing about crypto right now will got will be will have a good life in the future but if you ha uh, invest in in hex it's way better than you in invest in bitcoin so just go in hex do 15 years that's what all i'm saying right now yeah, and that, that's that's why I was like asking like what what is the time horizon in the crypto, and that's kind of what Patrick and I were talking about. So, I mean, if it's like Bitcoin, I am totally comfortable with. I mean, if you are lucky and fortunate enough to have a Bitcoin or two, and in five years you still have that, you will, I would think, be very well off as a store of value. Um, and this is why I do the videos. I've done a couple of videos just to, uh, based upon the percentage returns of hex versus other crypto assets in this cycle. And this, again, to Patrick's uh, point that he was talking about there, um, per, in percentage terms, I am more bullish on hex. I remain bullish. I was bullish last year. This is my favorite coin for this year. It, it, it's far and beyond the price potential of this um, far exceeds any other crypto. And th that's why I'm so bullish on it. So yeah, yeah. He Hex is the game. Now in terms of dollar figures, I don't know, man. Um, how much can you can you put away? So a buddy of mine uh, was talking to today. He was like, hey, um, you know, I got like what, uh, 500 bucks. Just, just throw away cash right now. Um, or not throw away cash, but just, you know, he's like, I was like, well, if you put that in hex and you stake it out for 10 years, hex price does not move. You triple what you have. If, if hex goes to a freaking dime or a little over a dime, you multiply that by 10. How insane is that? Where else in crypto can you even think of such a, a mathematic mechanism to get you there and you can see it it's locked in it, it's code and what excites me the most is okay we all get it um everybody watching on the stream right now gets it everybody in the room gets it marcavelli bran patrick abit he's probably in the pool right now we all get it but what happens when people say, shit, man, this is code. It's locked in. All I got, this isn't a scam. All I got to do is just put my money in, lock it away, and it pays, the system pays me back. That's all it is. The sooner you realize that, the more that you get. 
It is absolutely amazing. And we are so fortunate to be the first adopters of this. Man, uh, it's going to be I totally a great agree. look at. Yeah. Yep. I, I totally agree. And uh, actually, guys, I found it that funny that uh, you're like taking over our party stream and give the audience so much uh, value right here. And uh, thanks for that. And uh, what do you think oh. about the about the time frame? You know, do you think that uh, we will wait until Hex has its uh, proper blockchain and um, like then the, the like the masses are starting to to get it and to see it that there is uh, no scam going on and they're, they're, that's all locked code and that it's all working as intended uh, since i don't know like three years uh, at that point of time and what's your time horizon you know what what do you think like how how long uh, will it take for for hex to 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 hit more mainstream I think that's the ultimate question. So I'm going to answer this first. Sorry, guys, because I, I got a jet here. I got a jet here in a second. Um, so I'll, I'll jump in. But that's the ultimate question, right? Um, it's it, it, and it comes back to something I often think about. It's like, okay, what what can be said for the scam thing to be put to bed? And I always think of like the because I'm in marketing. I try to think of like the quickest way to um uh convey a point to an audience that is trying to understand something so if the if the main drawback is oh i google this and it says scam or whatever uh what's the quickest way to do that okay um all right well this this guy we we don't like we don't like certain man because he he speaks his mind we don't like certain man because he tells the truth. We don't like certain man because he curses. Uh, we don't like certain man because he doesn't act the way that I would want him to act. All that aside, okay, he developed something. Can you make money on it? Yes. Is he smarter than you? Okay, yes. Um, so, so oh, it drives me nuts. So it's like, okay, well, well, he's he's could he be using it for personal gain well i don't think so he retired in his early 20s oh well he he made a bunch of money from cryptocurrency and he lost it all so now he's trying to get it all back no no he retired before bitcoin before he mined uh 50 btc blocks so that's not it cross that off the list you have nothing he, he he makes self help self help videos um it, you're running out of reasons at this point so it's like uh it it's so frustrating to me and i think all the the hexagon community can can feel this it, it's like you know he there he doesn't need personal gain he doesn't need financial gain um i don't know how the you know, 100% convey it, but it'd be like, you know what? Uh, I don't need to do this. I want to do this. I have been trying to improve people's lives for how many years? I'm still trying to improve people's lives. And th this is it, man. It, 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 there's, there's no gain for it. Like, if you can make money, at, who cares what somebody else is, is doing? You know what I mean? if the if if you disagree with the personal philosophies or ideas of somebody else but it can benefit you it's like you know the whole cutting off your nose to spite your face kind of thing it, it makes no Cabana, sense like one year ago okay like let's say in december 2019 i was a drug addict i don't have had a home i was just throwing my money away then I saw a video of Richard Hart who was telling me about how to get rid of um, the addiction of gambling, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was just taking this advice and putting this into my life and I understood to how 
to be successful to successful in life this helped me so much that i could just it's just crazy to me like one year ago i was living in whole different life now look at me i'm like living in the next uh, freaking pool i can jump into the pool right now and i, I can basically do whatever i want to do right now just because of Richard Hart. And this is so freaking crazy. How many people do have to change their life and do have a better life than they would have ever had because of Richard Hart? And this is the thing. Like, we have all those people that just find out about I think we lost him. I think so too. But, but his point is good, and Kabana, your point was actually good too, is that, I mean, Hex isn't something that should be like treated like a traditional cryptocurrency or like, you know, short-term stock that people are trading. It, it should be kind of considered like that uh, certificate of deposit or like longer-term investment, right? It's something that, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's something that rewards you um, the, the longer you're willing to degrade, uh, to like, to delay your gratification. Exactly. Yeah, can, on, can you guys still hear me? Yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah, so, you're back. So, yeah. so my question is, I'm traveling in Mexico right now. Patrick is in Colombia right now. We we are walking on the street doing our um, daily life and we see people struggling, people working really hard. So what would you ex explain to anybody if you would just would just met him hey man you have to really do this thing in life to actually just have a better life in the future what would your advice cabana crypto be to anybody to just learn something new in the future yeah i'll tell you i'll tell you this because i've been trying to get away but this stream is so good and i thank you guys for hanging out and this is such a good conversation um one of my main selling points that i don't even mean it i, I don't sell i'm a, i don't like selling because to me it's like pushing something on someone so i shouldn't have said sell but one of the main successful points that i have had um with hex and i uh, it's to anybody I say this to is, oh, I got it for somebody else. I got it for a niece or nephew or somebody like that for 10 years down the road for a Christmas present or a birthday gift. And I got them that and I locked away, you know, that amount. Granted, the fees were lower last year than the past three months. So I did this last year, but still. Um, and they're like, Oh wait, what? That's like a that's like a time deposit or certificate. It's a CD, right? And I'm like, yeah, but it's the the modern day version of it. Yeah. And they it registers. Oh well, it's like these little certificates that I used to get when I was a kid. Except now it's on the blockchain. And you know that that little transition is like a little bit of a leap for them to make. But once they understand it and be like, oh. Yeah, it's computers now because that's how they think it's computers um <laughs> but yeah it's it's in the cloud or however they want to translate it to themselves they they understand it but the more important thing is oh you are locking up money for years in this mechanism that you know hopefully price stays the same it's going to pay you 20 percent a year price go up goodness gracious you are going to be so rewarded and that 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 uh you know carrot on the stick man it's like you know the the 20 percent a year is awesome they get that but the the gaming the the game theory of oh well if price does go up and more and more people get this and more and more people lock away their money it could be life-changing for them not not you you know because you know i guess you're already in but you you can help change other people's lives and how what what better gift is that man 
I mean, to to set up someone that's younger than you and, you know, to to help brighten their future, hopefully. Oh, it, it's it's so good. And I, I I want it so bad and people latch on to it because they see the benefit for themselves, but they also see passing down uh, wealth and preserving wealth to a future generation. And the more people that get that, that's why that is a small reason why we are seeing that stake length go out. And man, that's so exciting. It's slow, hexagon community. We're seeing it though, and it's getting stronger and stronger. So just just hang in there. It's a crazy the, the hexagon community, you know. When I when I visit the hexagon community in 2019, it was just me and hexologist being on the stream <laughs> it was like 10 people 10 people just being on the stream and nowadays we are hundreds thousands of people like nowadays i see like um a buy a buy of two uh, fifty thousand dollars making you know in 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 uh, hex maybe buying hex maybe selling hex it doesn't care matter it's the the ecosystem of hex hex just improved so much. It's so freaking crazy to me. That yeah, I, and that's, the push, you know? that's that's a great point you just brought up there. Is like the dollars exchanged regularly. So you know, I see the trades come across. I just you know have like a little tab open or window open, you know, in the corner of my screen, and I'll just peek at it every now and then. And it's just ten thousand dollars or whatever, just ten thousand dollars. But it happens a lot of times per hour. Oh, well, just two hours ago, we saw somebody put 90 some thousand dollars in. That's a lot of money. And we're at the beginning stages. <laughs> we're at the beginning stages. Just imagine when people with, you know, hundreds of thousands or, you know, perhaps millions one day, because if it is getting in like, you know, on Bitcoin, like it was a dollar or something like that, uh, I know it's fancy talk for, some realistic hexagons out there, but what if it is? Um, we're going to look at these dollar amount exchanges as, you know, pennies in comparison to what it could be. It, it's so exciting. But you guys, this is only, only 90,000, 50,000 buying or selling right now. But can you imagine somebody's buying or selling millions of dollars? we are just in the beginning of this whole ecosystem and it's, it's so great to me it's only what one year old a little bit maybe a little bit longer than one year but still it's so young we are so young in this uh, whole ecosystem yeah and that's why i think to me um the i i think richard's kind of playing uh you know, passive or coy about the Lex Friedman stream, but to me, it is huge uh, in the long term. I don't say it has to happen tomorrow or next month or in the next few months, but sometime this year, I would love to see it happen. But man, to get the word out there for his persona to speak and for people to absorb the knowledge that he has and for people to understand um, what truly you know this this product is capable of mm -hmm. to that big of an audience it i really do think it'll be the next huge step in this product's you know life state it, it's gonna be amazing and right right now i want to tell anybody anybody who is listening right now we have about 50 viewers right now in this youtube channel which is amazing thank you to everybody who's listening right now but look at this like this way okay you are a general hexagon right now you are just a little fish in this big freaking pond there are way bigger ways than you are in this pond right now but what can you do to improve this um, hexagon ecosystem? The thing that you can do is to be in this chat right now, to write something in this chat right now, to like the chat, to subscribe to this um, Crypto Schwabo chat. But what you can do as well is to take one hour, maybe like 30 minutes a day and take every 
um, content creator that is out there in the Telegram, for example, or maybe in uh, Twitter or in YouTube and like their content, give them an uh, opportunity and just like their content. It would be so huge. Imagine to be like every head content out there right now to have only, uh, not only, to have thousands, thousands of likes right now. This will be huge for the X, X ecosystem. So what I want to say is just go out and take 10 minutes of your time daily and just like everything you say hex, con hex related and that will be awesome. Please help the Hex ecosystem if you take your time and like everything you see in the Hex ecosystem. That will be huge. So you guys, please go out, take 10 minutes of your time daily and like everything on Twitter that you can see. Exologist, Discord Syndicate, maybe Crypto Spark as well. I don't fucking care. Just like everything that there is on Hex and just like it. That's all I want to say. And get a tattoo. And get a tattoo as well, right. And dye your hair. And get Hell a yeah. t-shirt like Brand Hammer. Hell yeah. Right. Well, get it's, sweet, it's, sweet merch. Get, <laughs> get that well, merch. It, it's out of passion too, right? It's because we know what the product is. And, and when Kibana mentioned like, yeah, it's like your newer generation. Uh, it's like your newer version generation of that certificate of deposit. I mean, people can really relate to that. My grandpa was 90. He was asking me like, Brand, you know, what the hell were you streaming about the other day? And I kind of told him and uh, in that similar concept and uh, it, it really stuck with him as well. And, you know, obviously someone like him that's 90, you know, you know, can't can't maybe uh, stay for Quattro Cinco, but but at least I can kind of set up a wallet for him and and, you know, manage that for him and, you know, let him download Staker app and let him kind of see what the, the new version of that could be. I think it's really, really powerful to uh to do outbound messaging if it is something that has like affected you and if you have like family members like me that come to me like you know people come to me because they see the passion they see the fire and it's just a matter of time before that gets to more people and it is like a everything kind of is an s-curve like uh harry dent was saying and and we're at the bottom of the s-curve for that adoption and hex is designed to you know in the future be possibly the global reserve currency or like mass adoption. Bitcoin didn't achieve mass adoption, but something like Hex could have hundreds of millions of wallets and could have significant numbers. Like it is a black hole for like financial capital. You know, guys, I want to say something really funny right now. Cabana Crypto, you are the oldest guy on this stream right now. Oh. You are so, <laughs> you are so old when you were born. You, when you were born, there weren't even cell phones around. All right. So, Kevana, when you were born, nobody even knew about what is crypto, what is internet, what is, what the fuck is going on? Nobody knew anything. So, you are the oldest guy in this chat right now. So, could you imagine anything like you are about, like, let's say 50 years old? What will happen in the next? 50 fucking years. Can you imagine that? How will our world look in the next freaking next 15 fucking years? I don't know, man. According to you, I'm already like 80. So you're, you will be 200, man. <laughs> what the hell, man? Man, we were supposed to be hanging out on yachts drinking beer, bro. And now, like, no, he's probably not much older Betty than Allen. me. I'm 30. <laughs> I'm 34. I don't know how, how old Cabano. We're not dropping dropping numbers. 24. I don't know. How, I would love to like hear Brandon. I'm, I'm 34. Uh, I'm 24. 24. Yeah. No, but I mean, how how do you think I am? Cabana, I would say you're I would in your say 40s. 42. 42. 42. Okay, 40. I don't count 42. Late what you got, Brandon? Early 40s. Late 30s. Early 40s. Uh, oh, that's good. 39. 30. 38, 39, right. 41. All right, like that. that's good. Well, uh, 39, 41. Pick one. Oh, shit. Okay, 39. <laughs> All right, Mark. 15 years old. Man, I love you. <laughs> yeah, so so Alan. I, Alan. I, I, missed, I missed the question. Uh, oh, how old do you think oh. I am, Patrick? 
Hello, Patrick. It doesn't matter. How old are you? You are okay. Uh, forty-one. Alan was the closest. So yeah. Anyway, because you know <laughs> I'm I'm like eighty, so forty-two is closer than forty-one. So anyway, what was the question, Alan? <laughs> People are saying like 80, 70 in the chat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Holy crap. I'm just now seeing it. Oh, children, bro. Thank They're you. Right no, that was at least the realistic number. All right. Maddie Allen's coming back with 25. Sapper, screw you, 60. All right. Just enough of this. I can't even look at chat anymore. So, yeah. But yeah, I was, I'm sorry. What was the last question, Alan? Well, the question was, how many, how many hacks do you need to have right now to make a living for the end of your fucking life? And I'll, that's I'll, what I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. You know, you don't have to own a whole hex. You just have to know that there is hex. Richard and then, you, a, will, yeah. then you will be good in your life. Oh, so I guess it comes down to your lifestyle. So it depends, man. But... It also depends on how you can roll it over. So if you can just take off the interest, it depends on upon your bills. So I can't I can't answer that for anybody, man. But I can offer an overall strategy is if you are staked out for fifteen years rather evenly, even if you're front front ended, um, like you know, I say you you have more weighted in your first 15 so the first seven and a half years than your last seven and a half um you're still fine because you can take off um you know that interest for yourself and restake further out so uh, a dollar amount i have no idea man I, i'm not going to answer that but um if you're in if you're in the ecosystem you're part of it you're interacting with it on a constant basis and you continue to dollar cost average which i think is the key because if you're getting in now with a minimal amount you're just scratching the surface of the potential especially if we're at prices of a penny and a fifth you know one you know 1.2 or something like that um it, there's still time but once that the the train leaves this station which this station i think is about a penny and a half um that on the chart i'm just talking technicals here that your your floor i don't i don't know what that's going to be again our floor recently has been what like uh seven tenths of a penny maybe a few i mean within the past month or well, two well that's what i'm saying like 2000 in december 2019 I found about crypto in general. Yeah. And when I found about crypto in general, I knew I would never have to work in my fucking life again. Just I understood what crypto is about. And now you have the opportunity to understand what Hex is about. And you can lock up your funds, not only one year, not only two years, but you can take your, the most valuable thing in life is time. And you can now, Take your time and bring it into the future. This is so freaking crazy. You only need a little bit of money right now and just take it for like, let's say 15 years, 10 years, five, five years, and you will be good. And now the question is how much money you would have to invest right now to have a good life in the future. Obviously for everybody it's, it's different. You can have a really future life with like in Colombia, which would like 800 bucks would be enough in a month. In America, um, this would be way more in the future. So yeah. I would say that like, if you own, if you own $20,000 in Hex right now, I think you are settled for the future at all. You don't need to work anymore. How much did you need for Bitcoin? It went up 6 million X, you know, it's, it's all about your time horizon. So. Something like Hex yeah. is designed to outperform Bitcoin, and you know, shit doesn't doesn't take uh, much capital right now. If Hex does something similar to that, which it's, it's very possible, I mean, 
yeah, like like Obama said, this this is really the beginning, and and we are all like the beginning. I mean, this is still very small in in the grand scheme of things. When you think out fifteen years, like that's just fifteen years. I mean, uh, if if the ideal if the idea is to have mass adoption and a lot of people be in this, then you know I think we got to look bigger. And it doesn't take many multiples for you know, like you mentioned, twenty thousand dollars. If someone has twenty thousand dollars in hex or the amount of t-shirts or whatever, like it. <laughs> It really doesn't take much for that shit to multiply 100x, 200x, 300x before you're set financially, let alone over time, it just going up significantly higher. I mean, I mean, Ben, Ben, are you fucking crazy? $20,000 is such a huge amount. I could never imagine having $20,000. So let's just say I have $1,000, $1,000. What could I do with those $1,000? I could stake it for 15 years. Could you imagine to be all right with $1,000 if you just stake it one for 15 freaking years? I, I think if you have $100 and you stake it out for 15 years, you should be all right. Totally. What if you're a central bank and you could just print money or put numbers in accounts? What if you had had the ability to get a loan for a, a fucking billion dollars and have to pay it back in a year and you put it all into hex and you make fucking a hundred quadrillion billion fucking dollars because hex is going to give you more interest than you're going to be paying if i was able to just contact the bank i wouldn't need a fucking penny just give me the keys to the bank i've got a better product you fucking losers that's like that uh whales only money printer uh thing he goes on man because that's that's kind of what it is you own a money printer and uh if it works as design bro yeah we, I mean, we, it's we, just so we are in on the ground floor it how to to think that it's it's awesome whether it come whether it comes to fruition hey but um for those who have done mm -hmm. the work and uh put in the knowledge or put in the mm -hmm. understanding of all the knowledge that's been put out there by Richard and this awesome community for all the live streams, uh, tutorials, everything like that. Um, this, this is the modern day research, man. And, um, a lot of this stuff is, is it's not happening in books. It's not happening in, uh, website mining. Uh, it's, it's a lot of live streams and this, this could be, a you know, dare I say a revolutionary time where, you know, a lot of people look back on uh, old Bitcoin videos and they're like, oh, wow, man, that 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 Da Vinci guy predict the price, you know, lucky or not, he did it. Well, Hexkins, man, you know, you could be watching some live streams right now that could be replayed in five to ten years and you know, we're, we're telling you about this product. We're not even trying to freaking pump price or anything like that. We're, we're telling you about the foundation and mathematics of this product. It's amazing. And I just want to share it with so many people. That's a great thing. It's, it's just, it's, it's not about a hype or whatever. It's just about the mathematics, you know, look, there's, if, if you invest today, there, you can imagine your mathematics, you know, in the next 10 years, for example, there, you, you, you know, you actually know that your hex stake will do the certain thing. But uh, what I want to say in the future, guys, um, we have 19, we have 7 p.m. right now. So in one hour, Matty Allen will be on the Discord syndicate we're proposing a really big thing for X. And I think, guys, what do you think Matty Allen would propose in the next few hours about Hex? I don't know what it could be, but um, maybe it's something that he will have uh, to work in Hex. And I'm so excited because everybody, like Cabana Crypto, for my, for example, or maybe a better brand, anybody can do whatever they want and had so much exciting things for X in the future. What do you think it could be a format event? I got no idea because this is the Me first 
I've heard of it, but if it's anything like the uh, mm-hmm. Hex Conference, then it is worth a listen. And let me just say that he did such a wonderful job with that and sure. organizing that in such a short period of time. And Joe Hexotic um, working the green room. I just want to give a shout out to those guys because um, that, I mean, we, mm-hmm. as a community, we, we needed that. And totally. I, I know, you know, it, it's, you know, we're, we're young and it was like, you know, a little over a year, but we had, we had no events, man. I mean, in the past, every crypto, you, you got to go out to a conference, you got to shill yourself, you know, and do whatever you wanted. Um, we, we, we didn't have the luxury of that. Uh, it had to be, you know, online and just to think to where we could be had, you know, Richard been out there. Maybe it's a maybe it's a bonus opportunity for all of us Hexagons to get in at lower prices because if if he's out there telling the world, um, you know, about you know this great product, then maybe prices are a lot higher and perhaps we don't get to get in at these levels. Perhaps not much longer. I don't know, but yeah. Again, back to to Maddie. Um, you know, good on him, man for for that conference it was such a pleasure to sit down and it took me probably a couple weeks to get through all the content but um alan and patrick your guys's uh presentation just blew (laughs) you set the bar high dude (laughs) it was so good and uh thank you for that and i mean rg and hexologist Man, I, I can't name everybody. It was so good. The, I mean, the the panels that were uh, set out like on price. I wish I could participate in that. I didn't know all of, about uh, you know what the the total layout was. The price, the game theory panel with uh, I think it was Steph and uh, Randy Hilarski. Man, there's so much good in it, and we needed that. And it, it just brought all the ideas together and it was kind of like a reset internally for us as a community. And uh, I, you know, I'm looking forward to, to answer your question, whatever he has to say tonight. I, I love Matt. You he's, know he's, what is really funny? He's a great guy. Like, I know for, ex- for, I know for sure, Hexologist, I know for sure, the, um, RJ3, I know for sure, um, Patrick or myself, we have not intended to do this. We all we did was just do our stuff, and then it blew up like this. Would you imagine Matty Allen just trying his uh, thing and just doing a crypto event to to be blew up and uh, to be the first freaking hex event in the future? Now, what do we think about now? Nowadays, we if you think about a hex event. Then we would think about, yeah, Matty Allen would uh, make a show, right? But Matty Allen would never think about having his name to be that big in the Hex ecosystem, just like I am. I just made memes on the internet and somehow my name, Allen, I don't know how, is the, the biggest name for memes for Hex, you know? This is so crazy. Like... Everybody in in this ecosystem right now, Cabana Crypto or Belly Brand, maybe um, Abbott Hex, whatever. If you do stuff for Hex, you can be a Hex influencer. And this is so crazy. If you just decide to do stuff on the internet for Hex, you can be an influencer. And this is so freaking crazy. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, it's the whole community, man. So, I mean, it's not just, you know, guys who have streams. It's not like just me and Bran and uh, Discourse and Maddie. I mean, people people are showing their faces. If they don't have a stream or if they do have a stream, whatever. Freaking Mark, man, just coming on here and, like, offering great input. He doesn't have to do this, you know? And so many people on the other streams, on the Discord Syndicate on F and Hangout. Guys coming in to hang out and talk um we don't we don't have to do that but it's the it's the building and the foundation of this community that's so cool and i say this and i'm sure people who watch me enough see me stream enough uh might start getting tired of it but i will never get tired of saying it uh it is the best community in crypto and just keep it going man 
just keep it going because um, the positivity um, and the the knowledge that is shared and it, it's it's not just to pump your bag and to get out next month it's you know the the old Huey Lewis song that you know happy do be stuck with you kind of like for 10 to 15 years man because totally. if you if you want the real gains and you're willing to wait for it I truly do think they're going to happen we just gotta like stick together and the more we stick together now the stronger it's going to be because the more people are going to come in and see how strong the thing is and it it just it's self-reinforcing it's totally. so exciting like you said that's that's what the conference was it, it was reinforcing and you know people like maddie they stepped up to the plate and richard even mentioned it like i'm being invited to the first ever hex conference that, that i didn't set up and and, you know, sure, Richard's great, but a lot of us hexagons uh, did do our own things. And, and RG3 was the, because same here, I, I never been in Hex since day one and followed Richard for forever, but I never intended to, to make videos or anything. Like, I was always very OPSEC, um, even in the other cryptos that I was in in 2017. But the crypto itself and, you know, the product, Richard, and then the community kind of all uh, at the same time made me uh, eventually jump into RG3 stream. And like, you know, sometimes that's all it takes is, you know, um, going on to someone else's stream and other people hearing your stories and things like that to realize like, oh man, like Kabana mentions, you know, this, this, this isn't something that is like a get rich slow thing. And, you know, sure we're gonna have great price appreciation, but you know, shit, most marriages and relationships don't last 10 to 15 years, let alone, you know, being able to actually uh, go with your dollar and, and with your hex and, and lock that shit up for 10 to 15. Like the contract itself is set up into a way where like, if you do try and, you know, EES or do anything like that early on something that you committed to long-term, um, you know, it's the truth engine, the ultimate truth engine. All right. Now you guys, we have such an amazing stream. I would never thought that this part stream would be so great. Betty brand, Cavana Crypto, and uh, wait, let me say, Mark, Pronounce it right. awesome that you've um, been able to visit this freaking stream. We have 50 freaking people on this stream. It's way more than on our German stream. So thank you for everybody watching and coming by. Please like this stream and please ask any question you want to ask because this party stream is all about you guys about the crypto about the community to ask anything you want to know maybe you want to um, ask anything besides hex you know if you want to talk about anything that is besides hex you can you can you have your opportunity right now and ask anything besides hex right now we have an awesome stream right now Speaking of opportunity, um, I, I do got to go get ready and, and hang out with the girlfriend uh, soon. So I'm actually going to step out of here. But, um, you know, I appreciate the opportunity and it was, it was fun hanging out. We're going to have to do it soon because this was a good idea and I didn't uh, in, intend on doing it. So happy to do it. Thanks for having me on, Alan. Um, we'll see Maddie's uh, surprise in an hour, uh, one hour from now. And then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to do it again soon. Thank you, Cabana. Uh, Mark Cavelli, cool to see you and be on stream with you. You know, Hex Lion and Apeit. Um, but you know, yeah. gotta go hang out with the Mama Cita. So, I'll see y'all later. Of course. So, uh, thanks, Bradley, to, for for uh, coming by, and I hope uh, we can invite him uh, soon to our Crypto Sparbook show uh, to give some more uh, valuable content to the audience. And um, thanks to you guys uh, for coming on. I mean, I know Ellen, you would like to go on the whole night.